This is Lesson 3.5, Proving Lines Parallel. Your objectives are to recognize angle pairs that occur with parallel lines and to prove that lines are parallel. If two lines in a plane are cut by a transversal and certain conditions are met, then the lines must be parallel. Before we said, if lines are parallel, then certain things are true. Now we're saying it the other way. If certain things are true, then the lines are parallel. First of all, if certain angle pairs are congruent, then the lines are parallel. If corresponding angles are congruent, the lines are parallel. If alternate exterior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. And if alternate interior angles are congruent, the lines are parallel. If consecutive interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. And finally, if two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then those lines are parallel. All you need is one of those things to be true. Any one of those five things will make the lines parallel. Find x so that L is parallel to M. Identify the postulate or theorem that you used. Number one. We have two angle measures given. Those are opposite corners outside the two lines. That's alternate exterior angles. And the rule says if alternate exterior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So if they're congruent, let's make their measures equal each other. 5x minus 5 equals 6x minus 20. Solve for x. Subtract 5x from each side. And add 20 to each side. x is 15. Since we had alternate exterior angles, we needed to make those congruent because if alternate exterior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. Number two, we're given these angle measures and those angles are opposite corners inside the two lines. Those are alternate interior angles. And the rule says if alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So for them to be congruent, let's make them equal each other. 6x equals 4x plus 20. Solve for x. Subtract 4x from each side. And then divide both sides by 2. x is 10. And that worked because they're alternate interior angles. And if alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So make their measures equal each other. Number three. Line M is perpendicular to the horizontal line. If line L is also perpendicular to the horizontal line, then L and M are parallel. So that means that that has to be a right angle because the rule says if two lines are perpendicular to the same line then they're parallel. So 3x plus 15 has to equal 90. If that's a right angle then line L is perpendicular and line M is perpendicular to that horizontal line. So let's solve. Subtract 15 from each side and divide both sides by 3. So x is 25 and that worked because two lines that are perpendicular to the same line are parallel. Number 4. Here we have alternate interior angles. And the rule says that if alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. 
So if those are congruent, then the measures have to equal each other. Solve for x. Get the x's on one side. Subtract 8x from each side. Subtract 1 from each side. x is 7. And that's true because those are alternate interior angles. And when alternate interior angles are congruent, the lines are parallel. So make their measures equal each other and solve. Number five. Here we have alternate exterior angles. They're outside the two lines on opposite corners. And when alternate exterior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So let's make these equal to each other. 2x equals 3x minus 20. And solve for x. Get the x's on one side. You can subtract 3x from each side. So negative x equals negative 20. And if negative x equals negative 20, then x equals 20. And that works because we have alternate exterior angles. And when alternate exterior angles are congruent, the lines are parallel. So make their measures equal each other. Number six, look at these angles. They're both in the bottom right position, and that's corresponding angles. And the rule says when corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So make their measures equal each other. 5x plus 20 equals 70. Solve for x. Subtract 20 from each side. 5x equals 50. Divide both sides by 5. And x is 10. And that works because when corresponding angles are congruent, the lines are parallel. So make their measures equal each other. Remember, identify the angle pair that's happening, or if you have perpendicular lines, make the correct thing happen. Are they congruent? Are they supplementary? Make your equation and solve.